Let's create a cool looking mega menu in block 3. So I already showed how to create a mega menu in one of my tutorials for Blocks Master course, but one of my students asked me if I can show him how to create the cool looking mega menu. In other words, he's asking me to create a menu where we click on the menu icon, like menu icon like, like this, and it will show the big menu there and this same icon, which was like this should be like this, so it should be changing to other icon and it all should be happening automatically at the same time. So I helped him and he says that the solution I provided works perfectly fine and he suggested I make a video about it. And this is exactly what I'm going to do today, but before doing so I need to go running. So you might be thinking, Elder, this is the web design tutorial, why are you going running in the middle of the video? Let me explain why. We are all human beings and we all struggle to stay motivated and energized all the time. And in addition to sharing with you the web design tips and tricks, I also want to share the techniques I use to stay motivated and, well, have the energy to take on big projects. So the technique I want to share with you is to set some simple goal. It should be daily goal, which you do every day. It shouldn't take too much time. It, it shouldn't be necessarily running like I do. It can be just going out for a walk or maybe it's like drinking water or doing something good for yourself. But make a goal, daily goal to do something and put it on your to-do list. And when you cross this item from you, to-do list, when you complete this item, you will feel the satisfaction and you will gain some self-confidence and some energy. Not just physical energy, which I will get from the running, but more importantly, the mental energy, the mental strength, which I can take into my project, which I'm going to do after. For example, building a mega menu in blocks, which we will do now. So, Without further ado, let's jump to the tutorial and I will show you how we can build the mega menu in Blocks 3. So let's open a new project in Blocks and I will quickly build some kind of structure. So we have a website here. So let's say that this is the big website. Obviously, I don't have a lot of items here but let's say that we have a regular menu like this and we got a lot of pages we got a lot of links and we want to create a mega menu basically the menu which will appear under this navigation bar when we click on some kind of icon here so let's add a block here just a regular block and this will be the area where we have our links so i will quickly build some kind of menu here So let's say that this is our menu when we open it. Obviously, I don't have the real links here. These are just the dummy links. And instead of links, you can add, for example, the newsletter sign up box here or some kind of social icons. Actually, let's do that. Let's add the social icons to the 
last row here. Let's say that this is our menu and we want it to be hidden by default. So let's select this block and hide it like this. So when we go to preview, obviously it won't be visible like this. So let's get rid of these links and instead let's create the menu icon. And what we can do here is select our nav bar, disable the navigation and enable the content area. And here we will place a simple icon, a simple icon like that. And we will align it to the right and let's select this icon and change it to the menu icon. So we can use anything. We can use some of these or maybe even like dots like this. I will be using just the regular hamburger like this. And one thing I will do is add the color. I will make this maybe, well, let's make it black like that. And the last thing we need to do here is to add the third element, which is the close button. And we want our icon to be in the same place as the menu icon. So let's select the div, not the actual icon, but the div container and press command D to duplicate it. And then we need to change the second icon to the close icon, which can be something like, like something like this whatever you like. I will be using the similar style to the first one. And that's it. We have three items, two buttons, two icons and one actual menu. So let's give these three items IDs. So let's select the div and give it the ID open. Let's select the div, the second icon and give it the ID close. And let's select the whole block and give it the ID menu. So we have open close menu. And the last thing we need to do is select this icon and give it the visibility options. And we will type all of them menu, open, close. Select the second icon and do exactly the same menu, open, close. So now by default, we don't want this close icon to be visible. So let's select the div container and disable its visibility. That's it. Our site, our menu is ready. Actually, let's change this color to white because it's not really visible like that. So let's go to preview. And as you can see, we have our site. This is the menu button. And when we click on it, you can see that it is automatically changing to close button. This is the cool sliding animation. So when we click on it again, it closes. Open, close, open, close. This menu is also responsive. So if we go to the other breakpoints, for example, tablet and click on this, you can see that when we go to other breakpoints, it will automatically change because when I was creating it, I adjusted the column to be smaller on other breakpoints. Of course, there are some issues like the padding here. We need to work with the layout a little bit more, but I think that you get the idea how powerful this menu can be for blocks websites. So this was a simple tutorial on how to create a mega menu in blocks three. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, or you can send them to me by email and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if you find this video helpful, please give it the thumbs up and consider subscribing because I'm planning to add more videos like this on a weekly basis. So have a nice day and I will talk to you in the next video.